Hello guys, welcome to TechBuzz. If you are an iPhone user, you may know that Apple products have one of the tightest security system and bypassing them is really hard. And one of them is forgetting your lock screen password and your iPhone getting disabled. Then you don't have any option to unlock your phone. So in this video, I will show you how to unlock your iPhone or iPad running iOS 15 in just few clicks. For that, we will use TunesKit iPhone Unlocker app. TunesKit iPhone Unlocker can unlock your disabled iPhone. It can help you to remove any type of lock screen, face ID or touch ID. It works even with latest firmwares like iOS 15.4 and models like iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's available for both Windows and Mac PC. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link. It is a paid app and using this app will erase all the data of the iPhone. But it will surely unlock your iPhone and with this process, your iPhone will be automatically updated to the latest firmware. But before going ahead, make sure you are using the latest and official version of the app to avoid any issue. So in order to remove the lock screen password, we will click on start. Now connect your iPhone to PC and follow the on-screen instructions to put your phone into DFU mode. You can select your iPhone model from the top and follow the steps accordingly. When you have successfully done all the things that are shown on the screen, your phone will be on black screen means it has successfully entered the DFU mode. So my phone is now in DFU mode and to go ahead, we will click next on the app. So now you have to download the firmware for your iPhone. Here it shows the latest firmware available for my phone and the model number. So check the details properly. You can directly allow the app to download the firmware for you by clicking on download. Or you can copy the download link from here and paste it in your browser to download the firmware manually. And if you have already downloaded the IPSW firmware file, then click on select and locate the firmware file. The app will start verifying the firmware file. It may take around 5 to 10 minutes. So the verification is complete and the firmware file is compatible with our iPhone 11. So to start the unlock process, we will click on unlock. The app will once again warn that this process will erase the data on the iPhone. Do you want to continue? I'll click yes. The app will start extracting the firmware file and after that the unlocking process will start automatically. It may take around 10 to 15 minutes. So you don't need to do anything. Just sit back and relax and don't touch or disconnect your phone until you get a process complete message. So the unlock process is complete and the phone is booting up now. The phone has finally booted up to the welcome screen. The phone is back to factory settings like a new device. So you just need to set up your device by the regular method. And as you can see, it is asking for a new passcode means the old passcode has been removed. And if you had backed up your device earlier on the cloud, you can restore it once your phone has started. So you will not lose any important data. So the setup is complete and the phone is back to home screen. And if we check settings, you can see that it has removed the iCloud ID as well. But the process has wiped out all the data on my smartphone. So using TunesKit iPhone Unlocker, we have successfully bypassed the lock screen in just a few minutes. So you don't need to visit the service center. If you forget your iPhone password, you can do it yourself using the TunesKit iPhone Unlocker app. You can download the app from the TunesKit site. The link is mentioned in the description below. You can either buy a monthly, yearly or lifetime license as per your need. If you have any doubts regarding the TunesKit iPhone Unlocker app, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. Also don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads. Also follow me on Instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz Facebook page. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, stay tuned.